Assalamu alaikum dear students, I am Anjum Shafiq, your biology teacher for grade 11 and today I am going to discuss the terms related to cofactor. So let's move to the light board. In the last lecture we have discussed in detail the cofactor. So dear students, what is cofactor? So the non-protein part, it is a non-protein part required by enzyme to work efficiently okay so non protein part basically so dear students of cofactor say related hum kuch padhenge kuch terminologies hain ye short question point hai usse bahut ahem hai clear so first of all The prosthetic group it's very very important regarding uh, short questions uh, so this one's uh, cofactor non-protein part most of the enzymes, they are protein in nature. They are solely made up of proteins. They are made up of amino acids, proteins. But there are some enzymes that are necessary to work in a non-protein part. So, dear students, what can be a non-protein part? It can be a protein that can be a protein. It can be a metal line. वो कोई कार्बोहाइड्रेट हो सकता है कोई विटामिन हो सकता है एनीथिंग बट अदर देन द प्रोटीन सो दैट इज कॉल्ड एज नॉन प्रोटीन क्लियर सो द फर्स्ट टर्म इज द प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप इफ सो दीस टर्म्स आर जस्ट फॉर द एंजाइम्स व्हिच रिक्वायर कोफैक्टर फॉर देयर प्रॉपर वर्किंग ठीक है ये ऐसे एंजाइम्स जो कि सोलली जो कि बिल्कुल मुकम्मल तौर पर एमिनो एसिड से मिलकर बने हुए हैं जो जो हैं ही प्रोटीन इन नेचर टोटली तो उनके लिए ये टर्मिनोलॉजी नहीं इस्तेमाल होती सो दीज आर द टर्मिनोलॉजीज व्हिच आर यूज्ड फॉर दोस एंजाइम्स व्हिच रिक्वायर कोफैक्टर्स क्लियर सो इफ द ऑर्गेनिक कोफैक्टर is tightly tightly or covalently bonded or attached with the protein part of enzyme is called prosthetic group clear so जो कोफैक्टर मींस के जो नॉन प्रोटीन पार्ट है डियर स्टूडेंट्स अगर ये प्रोटीन पार्ट के साथ यानी कि एंजाइम का जो प्रोटीन पार्ट है उसके साथ टाइटली कस के या कोवलेंटली बॉन्डेड हो अटैच्ड हो सो दैट फॉर्म्स द प्रोस्थेटिक ग्रुप क्लियर सो इट्स एग्जांपल्स इट इंक्लूड्स Heme, 
Number two, the biotin. Clear? So these are some examples of prostatic groups. Now, this one, the second one, co enzyme. So it's cofactor. This is coenzyme. It's my difference here. That can clear. So what is coenzyme? If the non-protein part or cofactor, this we call the cofactors, non-protein part, co cofactor, we call it. Is loosely attached with the protein part of an enzyme, it is called. Coenzyme. So, dear students, the uh, coenzymes okay, they are closely related to vitamins. The coenzymes are closely related to vitamins. because they act as the raw material for coenzymes. Clear? This first यहाँ पर एक और भी एग्जांपल आप ऐड कर लें F A D डेट इस फ्लावेन एटेनिन डाइन्यूक्लियोटाइड क्लियर अब इसको थोड़ा सा क्लेरिफाई करता चलो कोएंसाइम नॉन प्रोटीन पार्ट मींस के जो को फैक्टर है जिसको हम नॉन प्रोटीन पार्ट कहते हैं अगर वो लूजली अटैच हो प्रोटीन पार्ट ऑफ एन एंजाइम के साथ उस स्ट्रक्चर को या उस स्टेट में हम इसको कहेंगे को एंजाइम और को एंजाइम्स जो होते हैं डेयर स्टूडेंट्स दे आर क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू वाइटामिनस बिकॉज द वाइटामिनस दे एक्ट एज और दे आर द रॉ मटीरियल दे आर द बेसिक मटीरियल फ्रॉम विच द को एंजाइम्स आर फॉर्म क्लियर फॉर एग्जाम्पल Coenzyme A or coenzyme Q. Uh, coenzyme A and coenzyme Q, inshallah, we will learn in the further chapters. Zitara said, dear students, N A D, that is nicotinamide. Adenine dinucleotide. Clear? So these are few examples of coenzyme. So dear students, you have in dono me comparison up clarify ho kya. Prostatic group, agar cofactor tightly attached ho enzyme ka saath, uske protein part ka saath. Or coenzyme, jo cofactor hai, jadi non protein part hai, wo loosely attached ho. यहाँ पर मार्क भी कर दो टाइटली और कोवलेंटली अटैच्ड और यहाँ पर लूजली अटैच्ड क्लियर इसी तरह से यहाँ पर इसी से रिलेटेड कुछ और भी टर्म्स हैं 
One is apo enzyme. Apple enzyme, if the cofactor means the non protein part that is prostatic group or its coenzyme. are removed the remaining structure is called apoenzyme clear like a This is an enzyme. Clear? Yeah. And here it needs its prostatic group. So let's suppose this is the prostatic group. If it is removed, it is not attached. And uh, this is substrate here. There's substrate. So what is substrate, dear students? Substrate, it is a substance at which the enzyme acts, clear? It may be a carbohydrate, it may be a lipid, it may be a protein, etc., etc., clear? And this is the cofactor. It may be the prostatic group or it may be the coenzyme, which be hosaktaye, depending upon the enzyme. Clear? So ye yahan se removed hai. And this is the enzyme, its protein part. Clear? That is basically protein part. Yes. And this is the active site. So over here, this has been removed. Ye yahan se removed ho chuka hai. Now, this is called apoenzyme. So, we can also say it as it is inactive enzyme. Clear? Because the prostatic group is here, the coenzyme is here in the form of cofactor, which is removed from here. Now, the substrate is attached to it. So, this bridge is what we talked about. Co-factor is what it works. It acts as a bridge between the substrate and the enzyme. When it is not, the bridge will not be able to make the enzyme substrate complex. So, if the enzyme substrate complex will not be able to make the enzyme substrate complex, so the catalytic activity will not be able to make the enzyme substrate complex. So, the products are not formed. The fourth term is which is related to cofactor, it's hollow enzyme. Hollow. Hollow is from whole. Mukammal. Clear? If the Cofactor, that means that is prostatic group, or the coenzyme are attached. to the activated enzyme it is called
کولو انزائم مینس کہ جب یہی جو کو فیکٹر تھا وہ اٹیچ ہو چکا ہے اس کو لیبل بھی کر دیتا ہوں دس از دا کو فیکٹر This one is substrate and this is the enzyme. It's the, the protein part. Clear? So, this one is in four terms. You can differentiate kar sakte So, prosthetic group, if the cofactor is tightly or covalently attached to the protein part. Coenzyme, if the non-protein part is loosely attached to the protein part of the enzyme. اپوینزائم اف دا پروسٹیٹک گروپ اور دا کو انزائم دے آر ریموڈ یہاں سے ریموو ہو چکے ہیں جو کور انزائم تھا یا جو پروٹین پارٹ تھا سو دس اسٹیٹ از کالڈ ایز دس ان دس اسٹیٹ دا انزائم از کالڈ ایز اپو انزائم اٹ از ان ایکٹیویٹڈ انزائم اینڈ ایز فار ایز ہالو انزائم از کنسرنڈ اف دا پروسٹیٹک گروپ دیٹ از اور دا کو انزائم وچ ون از ریکوائرڈ جو بھی اس کو چاہیے انزائم کو وہ اس کے ساتھ اٹیچڈ ہے اور وہ انزائم وہ مکمل ہو چکا ہے اور دس از بیسیکلی ناؤن اینڈ اٹ ایکٹیویٹڈ اینڈ سائم سو دس از کالڈ ایز ہول ہول از فرام ہول تو یہ اٹیچڈ کو فیکٹر ہوگا تو ہولو اور ریموڈ ہوگا یا ڈیٹیچڈ ہوگا تو ایپو اینزائم ٹھیر اور اسٹوڈنٹس جو انزائمس ہوتے ہیں وہ مختلف جگہوں پہ پائے جاتے ہیں لائک ان دا سائٹو پلازم یو فاؤنڈ دا اینزائمس فار Glycolysis. There are enzymes for glycolysis. And what is glycolysis? That is the breakdown of glucose into two molecules of pyruvic acid. Inshallah, chapter number 11, the bioenergetics, which means details is called study. Kiya jayega. Kuch enzymes jo hoti hain, wo organelles, yani subcellular jo organelles hain, wahan par uh, depending upon their activity, wo amar wajood hoti hain. like uh, the enzymes for uh, photosynthesis they are found in the chloroplast in the chloroplast there are the enzymes for photosynthesis clear isi tarah se in mitochondria There are present the enzymes for cellular respiration, means the aerobic respiration. Is it that I say, in the ribosomes, so ribosomes, they have the enzymes. for protein synthesis so these enzymes they are the integral part of ribosomes clear you don't say protein synthesis kali hoti hai they are the integral part unke structure ka hissa hoti hai so that was about the enzymes سو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس ہوپ فلی آپ پروسٹیٹک گروپ کو انزائم ایپو انزائم اور ہولو انزائم میں ڈفرینشیٹ کر سکتے ہیں ملتے ہیں نیکسٹ لیکچر میں اور ڈسکس کریں گے کچھ کریکٹرسٹکس کو تب تک اپنا خیال رکھیے گا اللہ حافظ